Okay, today folks, I just want to talk about a train scroll compressor. There's about 18 parts to this. I'm going to do this quickly. I mainly want you to see, I know I've been in the business for a long time. I've changed out thousands of compressors in my life, but you know what? I have actually never seen this side of the compressor. So I'm pretty excited about this today. I wanted to share this with my viewers, and I want other people to see what I'm looking at. And I'm going to go through this with you uh, as much as I can. I'm going to show you that right here is a high pressure volume. This is what they call the high pressure volume cap. Okay? This piece right here is a actually a uh, backflow preventer, a check valve that, that will not allow high pressure gas once it goes through. It will not allow it to go back through. This here is what we call the high pressure discharge rotor. Train has own rotor locks. I want you to look at this compressor. This one's intact, of course. This is the high pressure rotor lock. And this is a suction pressure rotor lock. It's rusted, but it's, it's a suction pressure rotor lock. Okay, next thing I want to point out to you is the thermal disc. This here is the bimetal thermal disc right here inside. Okay. Uh, next thing I want to point out to you is the rotor counter locks. Okay. Now what that is, that's inside here, inside here there's a rotor, it's a counter lock, inside, look, just look down at the shaft right there, okay, and this is what the shaft itself sets on, okay, this here's the crankshaft, right here, okay, and it rotates, this is a rotor, this is the stator, okay, I want to point out to you the uh, oil level, the oil level is up to here. We'll dump this out in a second. I'll show you what the oil level is, okay? The uh, discharge reflector, that's what this is right here. Discharge reflector is this piece right here. It shoots the discharge oil back down inside of here. It just brings it down, okay? The um, number 12 is the lower orbiting scroll. What you got here, I want you to look at this. You look inside of here. There's a scroll that scrolls inside of here. This is the lower orbiting scroll, this piece right here. I can't move with my finger because this is a burnout, okay? And then here is the inner part of the scroll. What happens, these things work together at the same time to create that high pressure to go to the discharge cap, okay? One thing I want to point out the discharge cap, by the way, once this goes up, this is an inner part. Believe it or not, this very top part is the only discharge part of the whole compressor. Okay? One thing, let me go a little further here. Let's set this back on here real fast. Now I want you to know, the oil level is about right here. I don't have this put together. Let me show you here. The oil level of the compressor is about right here. The suction side of this whole compressor is right here. See where this cap is? This is a good point. See how you got a welded bead right here? Have you ever wondered why? This here is the high pressure side of the compressor. This is the suction side of the compressor. Okay, see how the suction line is right here? Okay. I'm going to point it right here. Orbiting coupling. This here is your orbiting coupling that your shaft goes down into. You notice how we set this right down on the shaft right here? Okay? I want you to see this right here. Um, internal overload. The internal overload on this one here is right here. This is your internal overload. Okay, now I want to show you something. This here is the rotor part of the motor. This is what spins. It's nothing but a cylinder. This here's your shaft. This here's your oil baffle. If you look down here, it says oil baffle, number 16, right here. So what happens? This thing is sitting here and it's spinning inside a pot of oil. So what's happening, if you look at this very closely, there's a puddle of oil down here at the bottom. This thing is spinning, it's pulling up oil inside around the windings, here's your windings, okay, and 
it's spinning. Okay, folks, that is basically a scroll compressor. I'm going to show you one more time here. This here's the part of the suction part of the compressor. This here's the discharge part of the compressor. I've enjoyed breaking down this compressor and I've enjoyed looking at this. If you have any questions, give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning, 239-596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com because we do blog on everything that we show on our videos. And if you like these videos, please subscribe, please share, and please comment. We will get back with you. Thank you.